Right, guys. So today we're off to in search of some ancient barrows up around the back near Pindale. There's a quite a lot of what they call tumuli up there. So you must have seen them on maps. It says tumulus. Well, they're actually ancient barrows. So uh, a grave of some probably quite senior or important guys going back thousands of years. So that's where we're going to head. I'm not going to film too much in Castleton today. It's absolutely rammed as usual. So we'll head out towards Pindale and then we'll catch up when we get to the first tumulus, which is just above the Pindale Road. So the road to the right is where we're headed and I think the first tumulus is up here somewhere and I'm hoping from there we should, if those trees aren't in the bloody way, get some good views across the Hope Valley but uh, we'll find out when we get up there. Bit of a steep one but I think it's just behind those trees on top of that hill so let's see how we get on. Catch up with you in a minute. So come that hill, let's feel a bit fitter today and then uh, Here's a footpath. <laughs> We're going up there and then it goes round and over the top and the barrow is uh, just over the hill there and hopefully, looking at it, we should get some cracking views. Certainly over towards Wynn Hill, Lewes Hill, uh, Bamford and Hattersage, possibly even uh, Mam Chaw on the Great Ridge. We'll have to see. Anyway, <laughs> After this it's quite flat and downhill if I recall, fortunately, so uh, anyway, onwards and upwards through another style. And, see how steep that is, having <laughs> done my Achilles tendon last week, um, I'm taking the approach of a zigzag and take the path of least resistance, because uh, that really did bugger my ankle up. Anyway, let's keep cracking on to the top. Right guys. Stunning views here. Hope cement works all across the Hope Valley. So if we start from this side, all the way we were on Shatter Moor yes last week. Cement works we went through the week before. Edges in the distance. I'll get some better video of this on the camera. Wen Hill, Lose Hill, and there. That's Kinder. I think that might be Grinslow Knoll over there. So, anyway, we're just about there. I think the barrow's just over this way. Let's keep going a little bit longer. Then I'll get some shots off the top with the, uh, with a proper camera, as it were. So, here we are at the top. This is the, the tumulus, plural tumuli. Good old Latin. Never learnt any of that, didn't get to the right school. Anyway, that's the burial mound. You can see the fantastic views. So whoever this was, must have been a very important person. Probably a chieftain. <coughs> the history in this place goes back to Neolithic times. It's quite a famous barrow, which you can see almost from here. I'll try and zoom in on it on the next bit of video I'll put up. But in the distance there, uh, Lord's Seat. That's a barrow going back 4,500 years. Mam Tor, there's an Iron Age hill fort there. About three and a half thousand years you can see the rim i'll just do that on the other camera so you can see it in more detail but yeah that's the first one of the day uh, always makes you wonder who it was and what's buried with them and what's under there doesn't it uh, fascinating stuff so i'll catch up with you shortly because then we're off over down dirtlow rake which we can see in the background there heading off in that direction so uh i'll catch up with you shortly once i get to eaten by zombies or something okay catch you soon I've just come over the brow, look at that, like a quarry almost, but it, I reckon that could have been some sort of religious thing there. There's a barrow here, being on top, obviously when it's past there as well. I'll do a video and I'll add all the key landmarks on it as I go around, so I'm just going to get the tripod out. That's old Pindale quarry there, disused quarry, that's quite cool, I've done a couple of walks up there, probably do another, so I'll do a bit of a 360 I think and uh, tag all the key landmarks and bits of interest as I go around. So, catch up with you shortly.
guys quick one though while i'm here i've just got i've got the gopro hero 11 I've, I've only used it a few times now occasionally when i'm using the quick start and stop on the top you know of having to turn the whole damn thing on and everything it uh it just keeps freezing up now and again i take the battery out and the video has been saved and everything i don't know if anyone else has had that problem whether it's just a an odd glitch you get or whether it needs a firmware update if you uh, know just comment below or drop me a message because i'd be keen to understand that well here we are on Dirklay Rake, which goes all the way down here over towards Alden Hill, I think. Wait, um, I find out why they're called rakes actually because I don't have a bloody clue whether it's a Derbyshire thing or an English thing. I'll do a bit of research, pop it up on the video. Bit of a slog now for about a mile on this uh, gravelly tight path. Um, we can just see the amount of man-made activity around here. All the old workings, probably open cast mining for lead or something, or quarrying. The whole place is littered with stones. That's where you get your stones from for your walls. <laughs> I think I repeated myself there a little bit. We are going here for quite a while now, so I'll catch up with you when we get to the next sort of bit of interest or good viewpoint or whatever. So I'll catch you in a bit. Quite a cool old quarry there. See if you can see that behind me. So, uh, yeah, quite cool that. It's halfway along the low rake. And then uh, we're going to carry on that way. Bit of a cool effect around the sun there. Yeah. So, here you can see the quarry. I'm in the background, you can see Mum Tor. And you can see all the people, paragliders on there. Crazy, isn't it? Like uh, the Blackpool of the Beacon in the background. Here you can see Kinder Scout in all its glory. And the Great Ridge in front of it. And it's back tour. That's normally quite busy as well. Yeah, you can see. You can see people on there. Cool. So, zoom in here on Lord's Seat. See that lump? Right on the top of Russia, Chab Russia Badge. That's Lord's Seat, which is another barrow. Four and a half thousand years old. They're just fencing it off at the moment. Stop people ruining it because they just stand on it all sorts but yeah that's four and a half thousand feet old and then obviously you can see the edge there of the hill fort on Mam Tor which clearly was there before the landslide and that's three and a half thousand years old anyway a bit of a trek over here then we're going to cut off to about 45 degrees across that field I think I think I can see the path now uh, down toward Oxley Rake and Dam, down to the Cop Farm and then back up one of the Dales. I'll try and remember which one it is when I get there. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Hang glider there. 
mole city around here. Some mole conurbation going on. Quite a cool effect with the clouds and the sun there too. Anyway, we're heading this footpath here through that style, carry on in that direction. Remains of a sheep school there. What's left of it? Cool, let's see. I'd love to find one with all the horns on. So we're headed over here now. Uh, gonna hit the road over that way, I think, if I remember rightly. Out there, this shoe's mine. I'm trying to find out what it's called actually. So I've got it on the uh, got it on the old map here. Old more mine, this used. I can open cast mine, probably lead. And you can see some riders right into the distance there. So I was gonna cut across this track here, but I'm not sure if there's a gate at the end. So I'm gonna stay on this side of the fence because I definitely saw a gate there. And then we're gonna back on that track there. So uh, we'll just carry on over here, just help some people get over there, trying to find Cavedale and the Limestone Way. And uh, you know, you pretty much took a wrong turn somewhere, mate. The Limestone Way is over there. But anyway, they'll get there. I'll give them some directions. So yeah, let's crack on over here. That's a mud bath. I think the right hand side looks the safest bet. <laughs> Like rock. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh huh. Good old wall. And we're through. Up here, off the chick point. I'll then get uh, the camera out, get some shots, and then uh, have a Cornish pasty. In the Peak Bakery. Oh, they are my uh, <laughs> go to food Scotch eggs, sausage rolls, coins pasty. Not so good for the waistline, but damn tasty. Back over there towards Mum Tour. Going back over that way down when it's past later. Well, definitely a bridal way. <laughs> you can see there. So we're going to head up here to the trick point. Interesting old working there. You see where they get the uh, rocks from for the old walls. It's like a bit of a limestone quarry there. I've just realised the trick point I'm heading for is the one I did on the Redwell Moor trick point. I thought it was another one. I don't know why I thought that. But anyway, we'll stop out there for a Cornish pasty and get some views. Get them with the uh, the uh, camera I use is the Panasonic FZ 2500 bridge camera. It's a uh, change of carrying lots of lenses around and stuff. So yeah, nice bit of kit, does 4K video. So we're all gonna crack on, heading off down here into the sun. And then uh, yeah, get some videos, have a bite to eat, have a cup of coffee. Jobs are good. <clears throat> so there you see, Eldon Hill, Russia Perch. I'm taught Great Ridge, Lose Hill, Wind Hill, in the distance of the edges. I've done a more detailed video which I'll put up as well to support this. Along towards Great Hook Road. And then I think it might be a good sunset tonight. You never know, it might be too much cloud, I don't know. Coming back over towards Dove Holes there and the ridge. I found out what that's called because it's always bothered me what it is. And then back over. I think in a distance that might be Lantern Pike, I can't be certain. And then the vent on the top of a uh, near Brown Knoll, Russia Pedge there, there's a, a vent and a little old hut. Uh, that's quite a cool walk. And then back along Russia Pedge to Mantor, pretty much a full 360. Okay, well, we're going to head off down here now, back on the Limestone Way, down to the bottom, and then back up over there. Uh, you can see that farm and distance towards Mum Tour, we're going to look over there eventually and then back down when it's past. Yeah, so if a tunnel this apparently is uh, just over the wall, it's not very easily discernible 
but that apparently is another great you can't get to that it's not on a near a footpath or anything so I'll stick to the rules but yeah so that's the second tumulus of the day um, there's also one over on the top of near Oldham Moor over there as well so plenty of tumulus on here you can see them on the map you know lots and lots of them and then we're going to head off into the sunset down the limestone way see you soon quaint little track here we follow this down to the farm and take a right up for a little dale up towards when it's pass and the farm at the top there I mean what we'll try and do is get up on the top of when it pass get some uh, GoPro shots and video shots from the top of there with my camera a um, bit slippy about there look <laughs> you can see where people have gone a bit awry but anyway so we're going to follow this down here now and then I'll play catch up with you when we get in this dale because that might be quite scenic I think it might be a bit of a climb as well my Achilles tendon still isn't 100% so I'm just going to take it a bit steady um, so if anyone knows any anyone knows any stretches or exercises to help with that I do a bit of stretching before I go out I do quite a bit in the week anyway but if anyone's got any tips and nearly went then uh, then uh, please let me know okay farm there and the paths here in the corner that calls out but that uh, people don't have any big problems with this some nice views over there in the distance Holden Hill we're going up where those trees are so actually might have a better wooded walk this will be good anyway I'm going to go for the over this style and then catch up with you in a bit. Get some quite cool effects around the sun there in the clouds. Bit of a fire over there in the distance. Heading for the style in the middle of the field and then we're walking back up there. I've been through there. I know where I am now. That's Oxlow Dam I think. Oxlow Rake. I came that down on a walk a couple of months ago where I went down there and then up over Eldon Hill. Yeah, we're going to go up through those trees and uh, catch up with the, the path over to Oxlow Farm, I think it's called, and then uh, down to down to Winnets Pass or over to Winnets Pass. Should be pretty shit hot. Hopefully, it's died down a bit because it gets rammed up there. I walk along the top. I don't know if I'll go down the face. There's also a really cool uh, ascent, descent down with a rope on it. So I'll see how I am for time. Just conscious of Achilles tendons playing up a little bit, so um, I'll see how we go on that front. Don't want to be too daft. Anyway, catch up with you in a while. Again, more old issues workings, but obviously a long time ago, judging by these trees, I'm thinking these have been here a while. So, we're heading off down there. Just come from down there, it's a really cool. I can have any of the trees there, I took a picture of that, that was quite impressive. But we're going down to this farm and then back up over that way. Um, so I'll catch up with you and I'll see something a bit more interesting. That was a really cool footpath. I didn't film it because a guy was there, but it literally goes through the side of that house. That lean to there, there's a store saying footpath. You come through there and along the wall here. How cool was that? Anyway, we're off over here now, and then once we get to something more interesting, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. So, just going up here now, just missed a bloody hair. Just wondering over here, must have disturbed it, but it was so quick. It's, uh, it's just off like a, like a bat out of hell it did. So, that was a shame, but I still got to saw it. Off here, up there, bit of a steep climb. Interesting little dale up there, but there's no paths on there according to the map. Just double check. No, no. Open, that is open access though. So I'm assuming you could go up there if you wanted to. 
but I'll stick to the footpath for now. I'll head up over into that corner of the field and across there, and then up the side of some rocks and a bit of a cliff face by looks of it. So, yeah, about an hour and a half left to go. I'll probably take some shots when we get to win its path, so I should be back just as the sun sets. I'll catch you in a bit. Well, that's fucking steeper than I thought. Jesus. Still, getting there. Uh, up over the top now. Uh, keep heading that way. Whew, this will get you fit. Sod your gym, and your hits routines, and Joe Wicks, and all those sort of people. Just go out for a walk up a bloody big hill every day, mate. If you fit as a butcher's dog, I tell you. Butcher's dog. Can't be asked to talk there. Anyway, I'll keep moving. As the sun's setting a bit now, so I'll make sure we get over there. Maybe catch a bit of a sunset. Never ending. Remember my video? I'll put a link in at the end of this about path signs. So previously they were all yellow arrows, which are footpaths. Now we're on to be what's called open access. So on here, you can pretty much roam where you like. I think we're going up over by them rocks there. It's like when you come over one hill, there's never a fucking hill in there. Anyway, so I'll put a link to that video in the end, like I said. So we're going to crack on now over this style. Onwards and upwards. Like I said, uh, you can see the switch here. So from this side of the style, you're going from open access to a footpath. So the yellow arrow, all good stuff. Nice view across towards, I think that's Fulo down there. I correct me wrong. It's starting to get a bit of an effect in the sky over there too. Anyway, as Scott said, <laughs> I'm just going to go outside for a while now. So, crack on across this open moorland for a bit now. Catch up on you a bit. All right, a little bit lost there, <laughs> but back on the path now. I can see it going off to the left over there. Just saw a couple of ravens. That's the trig point we we're up at earlier, a distance. If you can see around the hill there, I'll see if I can zoom in on the video. And then we're going to head off up here now. <sighs> that was fun. Down to the junction of these walls and then to the left. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. And I've got some breath. <laughs> Quite a cool sky there. A little bit, I think, of what they call mackerel sky. So, still climbing. There's more workings again up here, and hopefully it's downhill from there. I figure my hope so. For a wrong turn, yeah, you bastard. <laughs> so I walked all that hill, got walked back down, back round here. Just shows how easy it is, you know, to just take a wrong turn. Even uh, even if you know what you're doing, which allegedly I do. That's a cool sign over there. Abandoned mine shafts in this area. Right, so we're meant to go this way. <laughs> and then follow this path over the hill. So, try again. Third time lucky. It's a sheep. On a walk the other day, I went into a field I thought I was a farmer. And they all bloody rushed me. More workings there. This area is full of them. And we meet up with this path you can see coming across there and head up over that way. Ha! Huh. That's one good thing about that outdoor active map. You quickly see if you've gone off piste. And you know, if you just had a map, whilst you could get your bearings, you know, there's a chance you could get that wrong. Whereas of a GPS, you can't really argue with where you are. So, follow this path over the hill. My Achilles tendon really is starting to give me some jip now. So, I'm hoping this is the last of the hills. Pretty certain it is looking at the map. So, catch up with you in a bit. They're really interested in me, aren't you, fuckers, eh? Are you alright? 
being watched. <laughs> By the sheeps. The Jeremy Clarkson would say. Distance over there. The edges starting to sun's starting to go down now. For about an hour. According to my GPS, I've got about an hour and a quarter. So I think I'm probably just walking a little bit slower than normal. One because I took a few shots on the old camera. The other is uh, this Achilles tendon is just twanging a bit like I mentioned 55 times today. So in the old British spirit, stiff up a lip, carry on old boy. And carry on. Oh, as Winston Churchill used to say, keep the buggering on. Okay, catch you in a bit. Bit of a sunset over there. Nothing too great. Still, good to be out. Up here in the Peak District. I was interested in uh, where the Peak District got its name because I had a German visitor over from work and he goes, Peak District. There's not many peaks around here. Which has got a point. But actually, Derives from a tribe, I think, Anglo Saxon tribe, who was around at the time called the Peak Seaton tribe. And that's where the Peak District gets its name. There's one on Elden Hill over there. So, uh, yeah, interesting that. Of course, you always automatically think Peak, it's spoke P A K. I'll see what I can find out about them and maybe just drop a bit more detail info on the, uh, on the video in a text field or something like that pop up. I see Winnell over there, the edges. So yeah, sun's starting to drop now. There's the old rule. I've probably got 45 minutes, 15 minutes a finger, roughly. Unless you've got massive hands. <laughs> All right, we're gonna carry on now anyway. And uh, yeah, see you shortly. Oh well, guys, the great ridge in the distance and kinder, which I showed you earlier. Get a real good panoramic there. The sun's coming down now. Uh, starting to get a bit cool. I'm just heading down to when it's past. I might just walk down the road because it's going to be quite dark there now. So I don't think you're going to get any impressive light or anything of that nature. So it's quite a slippy descent from there. And with me banging on about my Achilles heel, I think I'll play it safe. So, Mam tour there with people on it. Kinder Scout in the background. Across the Great Ridge. Lee's Hill, Wynn Hill, and then the edges in the distance there. So here we are, path down towards Mount Tor. We're going to get that road where you can see the cars. Even a distance there, uh, Mam Nick, we can discount in the background, so that's a road free to Edale. Still a lot of people on the top there, and still making their way up. Uh, they won't get much of a sunset today. To be honest with you, you get some stunning sunrises there, if anything else. Um, I've yet to do one yet, I need to do that. Try and get a cloud inversion, that'd be cool. There you have it, Mam Tor and the Great Ridge. Very, very busy most of the year, simply because you can park there in, in the Mam Nick car park or even a bit further up there and walk to the top. So you can be pretty unfit and do that. We're going to head down here now to when it's past and I think we'll just head down the road I think rather than across the top okay catch you soon just coming to when it's past now been in lots of films this um, quite spectacular really it's almost like you're somewhere in the uh, Lord of the Rings or something or Game of Thrones which was filmed up the road in Cavedale be a bit careful here to walk past some dickhead who parked his car right by the gate where all the cars come through. And it just makes you wonder about some people. Common sense, what the fuck happened to that mate? Anyway, be quiet for a bit while I concentrate going down here and try and film it. Fun. It's one of the 
drown. Fucking drown. Give me a tall bow. No, not mine, mate, mate. I'd shoot you with a 12 bro, mate, I would. <laughs> Damn things. <laughs> Bit slipper down here. Still quite busy. Next time I'll go across the top there. So I'm going to be a bit better light. Slippy slip. I'll catch you when we get around the bend there. Before I fall over. Bit of a bog fest. We'll go that way I think and head off down. Great spots up there. Really is something on our movie. Fantastic. So lucky living here. I walk up this every day. It's going to be hard, me. If you can see it right here. That's a devil's over elbow scramble. Quite a few people go up there. It's going to be quite cool, if not quite difficult. So, uh, and some caves up there as well. You can see along there. So, yeah, pretty cool. <coughs> I'm flagging a bit now. So, I'm going to carry on walking down here for a bit. Um, I'll probably uh, switch on again when we go past the Speed World Cavern, which is a mine and then uh, head up across to Goose Hill back into the village and then collapse on the heat well, I don't know what sort of my Achilles tendon absolutely killing well, I didn't give me enough time to recover but it felt fine when I started out just goes to show you a couple of hills mate and that's it and just a quick one again there's a devil's elbow I just spoke about some crags up there and rocks do fall down here occasionally so 100% safe. There's caves up there as well. There is a famous story here. So a couple, I think it was in the 17th century, something like that, were really hoping to get married and had quite a bit of gold on them. I think it was equivalent today of about £37,000, something like that. Anyway, they stopped in Castleton in one of the coaching inns and uh, some miners overheard them. So they ambushed them in the pass, murdered them and stole the gold. Legend has it that each of those miners then died quite a horrible death afterwards over time. Uh, some sort of recompense for their sins I guess. Uh, and the couple are meant to be buried uh, inside the uh, churchyard at Castleton, although I've not managed to find it. But I'll find out a bit more detail on that. Maybe put a link in the bio to uh, the story in a bit more detail for those of you that are interested. Then we're now just coming round here there's Windhill. I'm going to take a picture of that actually. That's a devil's oboe, elbow. Bit of a scramble up there if you fancy it. Too old for that shit now. I'll catch up with you soon. And here you can see one sort of rock. That bong turn there didn't know about it, wouldn't it, mate? Just to the bottom when it's past is the Speedwell Cavern. That's quite cool, you go on a little boat trip into an old lead mine. Uh, the best bit is a boat trip, but you know, that's worth the trip if you ever fancy it. The uh, tour guides are really funny. So yeah, highly recommended. Uh, it's one of the three, so there's a speedwell. Tree cliff is just up over that ridge. And uh, Blue John around the back of that. And there's also the Odin mine over there. Why can't people just shut? Friggin' gates. It's about the fourth one I've seen today. Don't take much, you know. God, you've got to just hate people sometimes. Idle, lazy fuckers. That's what they are. Flipped up. Right over Goose Hill now. It's going to be quite slippy on the bottom of Long Cliff. Then we're coming to Goose Hill and then up to the market place and 
and back home, thank God. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. I think it's the same helicopter that came out before. views down to Castleton there, to the village nestling in the in the valley. And Peveril Castle just peeking its tower over the head. The ridge there. It's starting to get quite dusky now. Temperatures dropping. Not so many people upon the on the ridge now as there was earlier. We're finding this, this is Long Cliff. So the Speedwell Cavern runs underneath here quite a way. So again recommend that. And then we're gonna head off this way is like a little back, back shortcut into the village just to go away from the masses <laughs> so I always try and do with a lot of my walks anyway, catch you in a bit I've up there the cow low, I'll put uh, some pictures of it very steep and as a rope to help you get up or down so I've not done that yet but I think I'm going to have to try that probably when I'm in a bit better shape <laughs> so I think if I try it at the moment it will go disastrously wrong and you can see over there, castle on the paths up to the castle. That actually was the main entrance years ago. So uh, the way you go in now is through the rear entrance for an half an hour. Uh, but yeah, that used to be the main entrance with a bridge over to it, which is no longer there. And then you've got Goose Hall down the bottom there. And then home. <laughs> so looking forward to getting back there shortly. You can probably see that a bit clearer now. That's a path up to the uh, castle around the back. You can't go in that way. You have to go in via the marketplace and through the visitor's entrance. So I'll have to do a tour around that when there's not a lot of people about, probably in a week, early doors, because it gets quite popular. If you have English heritage, you get in free. If you live here, you get in free. <laughs> so I'm always up there when I can, get some stunning views there. But we're heading to the left down here. I'm gonna tag on to Goose Hill. And a quick walk through the back of the village past the Instagram house as they call it so I'll show you that one <laughs> makes me laugh at the Instagram house but it is everybody every man's dog gets a picture in front of that house people with millions when they sell that are but anyway we're heading off down here now the light really is starting to drop a bit um, so I'm quite sure how good the uh, video is going to come out but anyway I'll catch up with you again to Castleton. Well, one of them days today, just saw here yeah, barn owl drop down into the into the field, and um, yeah, got the camera, got the video. But I think I've missed it. I'll have a look, but it caught a mouse or a vole or something. Headed off to the barn there, then dropped into the field probably to eat it. So, but as I've just noticed there, fantastic purple sky of a mum tour. Should we get a picture of that? But yeah, the barn owl, man, just wouldn't focus on it. I was like gutted. But I've still seen one. Anyway, okay, catch up shortly. So here we are now. Just coming to the top of Goose Hill. And to the village of Castleton, where I live. Okay, me. Then I'll regret that after a while. <laughs> For my track record. I, once, I moved to uh, Brassington once. If you know Brassington, there's two pubs, the Miner's Arms and the, uh, what's the other one called? Can't remember, but the Miner's Arms is a bit more rough and ready. And um, the landlord in there was an alcoholic. And anyway, I went in, about, I've only been there about two weeks and had a few pints at the quiz night, got a bit merry. And someone told me he didn't like the C word. So for the next hour or two, all I used was the C word when I was speaking to him and he barred me. <laughs> All the locals found it really, really funny. Um, went down in folklore, that did. <laughs> and my record for getting barred from a pub. Uh, um, that was when I was a bit younger. Not quite so mad now. But yeah, some nice shots here. Down Goose Hill, towards the stones. And then we'll get to that Instagram house. Which might even have a fire on now. We'll see. Anyway, I'll catch up when we get there. A good thing about coming back when it's a bit dark, nobody here. 
that bone tail after the bridge is the uh, there's a shop there this bloke just oh you know, you've got to go in great character all old bric-a-brac house sales antique you name it he's probably got it in there it's well worth taking a look and then uh, yeah there's a famous Instagram house and in the background there is cliffs at the entrance to the Devil's Arse or Peak Cavern but I'll do a proper tour around the village at some point when it's a bit lighter really in the mornings and nobody about we're going to head up over there to the left now to the stones also called the slippery stones it's in the wet it's quite difficult to get a horse and cart up there apparently if I remember rightly anyway um, yeah I'll take a picture of this and then head back to the marketplace but just catch a little shot going back in there wrap the walk up as I walk in catch you soon over to the stones here we come around the corner to the stones I can smell the chippy and he opens a couple of days a week the chippy in winter but the smell <laughs> This has all been tarmac now, but I think back in the day it would be cobbled, hence why it was so slippery in the wet. And then head straight back down there into the marketplace. So, a bit of a shot back over to Mum Tor. Down the stones. Heading back over to the marketplace. Amazing how this place dies off after five o'clock. Down there is a George on the left, best pub in the village. We're heading back home. There we are. Well, there we are. The end of the walk, about eight miles. I'll put all the details up on how far and how fast and how steep and all that malarkey afterwards. But yeah, good walk there. Got to see some of the ancient barrows and got on top of one of them and got some really good views. And uh, now I'm going to sit down and don't do anything for the next couple of hours. Till Mrs. gets home from the pub working, and then we'll cook some tea. <laughs> anyway, I'll put a link up to the one about hiking kit and stuff in the Outdoor Active app. I'll put those up in the uh, end, end card so you can go and link to them if you want to go and watch them. And I'll catch you on the next one.